Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Joyful Journeys interview series following along our spring 2024 season. Uh, it is week one. We are so excited to get things kicked off, and we have an incredibly special interviewee today. Um, today, I'm joined by Jenna Jumaley. She is a junior coach with us. Um, and not only is she a junior coach, she goes above and beyond for us at Girls on the Run here. She also serves on our coach advisory council. And Jenna was also a Girls on the Run participant herself back in the day. So Jenna, I know you have a ton of insight to share with us. And we're so, so grateful to have you with us for Joyful Journeys, the interview series. And of course, to have you back with us for the spring 2024 season. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm excited. Cool. Well, let's get some things started. You know, tell us about your Girls on the Run journey. What is it like having memories of being a Girls on the Run participant yourself and now helping lead um, a team as a coach? So I started Girls on the Run in fourth grade. Um, I went to Cunningham Park Elementary School. Um, I really did have a special connection with my coaches with the teammates who I'm still friends with to this day. Um, so I think like all the lessons that we learned really did um, bring us together and help us bond. Um, and that was super important because that definitely left a mark on me. And when I found out there was like a junior position, junior coaching position open, I went straight for it. I applied for it. I found out when I was 15 and I was like, oh darn, I'm not, like I'm not old enough. So I waited for my 16th birthday um, and I was ready to go back um, to the same school. Um, I'm seeing like all these girls with the same teachers I had um, and I'm meeting new coaches. Um, the head coach, Kelsey, she was so, so helpful um, and really welcoming. Um, she was really funny too. So I learned so much from her and I really did apply what I learned from Girls on the Run as a participant into coaching now. Yeah, that's so awesome and so special that you have that connection of, I'm now leading a team at the exact elementary school that you participated in, which is like such a cool connection. And I love that you make, you know, that connection as well between what I learned when I was a kid and now what I'm getting to mentor and lead the girls through. I think that's such a very cool story. And I hope one that is common throughout our Girls on the Run community. We do have a lot of junior coaches that have participated in the program and come back to coach. And I think, you know, out of all of our coaches, you guys are the experts because you've done this. You've been on the other side. You know what it's like to be a girl in this program and have it impact you in such a positive way. And now you get to bring that perspective to your coaching experience. It's just wonderful. Um, so what do you remember? So with this, you know, talking about week one. Um, this is when all the teams are coming together for the first time and meeting each other. Maybe there's some apprehension. Maybe there's some anxieties. Like, you know, nobody really knows what's going on yet. But you really start to come together and bond as a team. So what do you remember about coming together as a team when you were a GOATER participant? So I had a really welcoming coach. I think that's such an important thing, like having an adult there who's not only willing to welcome you, but willing to listen and hear out your needs. Cause I know have it's a different experience for everyone. And I really think that the coaches are there to also adjust to the girl's needs. Like I felt like I was honestly such a runner. I was ready to run. Um, so I, a lot of the time we did the activities while we were running, um, which we do now too, as, um, as I'm coaching, we do the same thing. I think it's important that those girls get their energy out and learn about uh, my number one thing that I remember was star power, especially the first week. We learned so much about star power and being able to stand your ground and be confident and have that self-esteem. And that really did work within that first week because we were just open. We were really just having fun. It was the most fun experience I've had. Absolutely. And like, so what is it like now to facilitate that team bond as a coach to kind of guide girls through that very first week and maybe guide them through their apprehension and 
look at the ones that are the runners that are ready to go and maybe look at the other girls on the team that maybe don't have as much experience running. How do you, as a coach, kind of bring those two, you know, personalities of girl together or every personality of girl together on the team to really facilitate that bond? So um, the very first thing that I do is to memorize their names. I think it's so important that they know that I know who they are um, so that they feel more welcome and more, pre or I feel more present with them as well. Um, and I really think when it comes to those friendships, a lot of them already have their own friendships as well, since, you know, they're different grades, they're all in the same grade, or maybe they're in the same class, things like that. Um, so I tried, we all tried our best as coaches to kind of give them opportunities to meet each other. So things like find someone else to talk to today or make a new friend and run with them, have a new running buddy, um, like feel free to just get like get a group together, run together, do the activity together, find someone that you haven't partnered up with before. So things like that, um, we do our best to make sure that we're working as a team and it's a team effort. Um, and that despite we all have different levels, uh, it's important that we encourage each other based on our own improvements. Yeah, that is so crucial. Two points that you mentioned there that just resonate with me so much are that encouragement, no matter where you are at, whatever your running level is, if you've done Girls on the Run before, if this is your first time ever, that the whole team encourages each, each other. And I just love that spirit of positivity that we have here at Girls on the Run and how our coaches like you foster that positivity. Um, and then the other point about fostering those friendships. Um, I know I've seen for myself as a coach, one of the greatest things I've ever seen is, you know, because our program is third, fourth, fifth, sixth graders at the elementary school level. And then at our middle school level, it could be sixth, seventh, eighth graders. I love when I see a third grader start to literally make friends with a sixth grader. And she, yeah, she's looking up to her because she's older, but she's also, it's so fun when they come back to practice and they're like, well, I have a sixth grader friend now. Absolutely. And so they feel, like you said, that empowerment, they, they feel like they have an older girl to look up to. Um, and you know, my older girls, like my sixth graders, I always tell them every year, like you guys are my leaders. You guys are my, my mini mentors on the team and, you know, relying on them to also facilitate those relationships too, and giving them that kind of. Uh, confidence to lead the team as they get older and, you know, giving the younger ones, you know, mentors of their own on the team that they can connect with. And I think that fosters a lot of connection too, as a team of having the girls know that they can rely on one another. Absolutely. You know, it's not just like they can rely, obviously they can always rely on us as coaches okay. and their coaches, but it's really cool to foster those connections and, you know, watch them, you know, blossom together. For sure. Yeah. Awesome. So um, you are now in high school um, as a junior coach. So tell us a little bit more about other activities you participate in outside of Girls on the Run um, and how you manage being a junior coach with your school, your activities. Um, maybe how would you break it down to another high schooler who might be interested in junior coaching? Yeah. So um, freshman year, I started off, this is what really set it off for me, but I started off playing basketball with the school. Um, so that was practice every single day for two hours. So it was definitely a lot, but I like, I try to compare it to girls on the run and say, oh, this is only twice a week and it's one hour per mm -hmm. session. Like it really isn't something that like, oh, like, oh my God, I'm not going to have time for homework or anything like that. I definitely have time for homework. I have time for clubs, after school help. Um, it's super helpful when we have so many coaches because sometimes I'll say, hey guys, like I have to meet with a teacher after school today. I don't think I can make it. Do we have enough coaches? And they'll say yes. Most of the time, I think we've, we've never had a problem of not having enough coaches because we've had so many. Yeah. Um, which is great because that allows for more girls to sign up as well. Um, but yeah, I do a lot of volunteer work, so I feel like I'm definitely used to it and I'm used to having like workouts after school every day. So this was something that I really wanted to put time towards. So I think if it's something that is like, uh, you're kind of iffy about it, I feel like 
it was either going to be coaching, junior coaching, or being a Team Adelaide um, supervisor, I believe, mm -hmm. where you can only you can substitute or you can do things like that. Um, but I knew I wanted to be with the school and I wanted to put my time forward. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm doing fine. I, I'll have to miss practices every once in a while, but it's definitely worth it to see these girls and to run with them, um, and to bond with them. I have so much fun. Like I, they're literally my friends. Like <laughs> we're all, we're all like a big group of friends. And I really do appreciate that, especially after a long day of school. That's awesome. So, um, you know, I heard you talk a little bit about joining the basketball team and that you volunteer now and, you know, teamwork and volunteering are two really big core components of what we teach the girls at Girls on the Run. So, you know, how did what you learn at Girls on the Run impact you being a team player on your basketball team? And how did that community impact project you did back in Girls on the Run impact how you view volunteering now? So I really do think that like my number one thing with volunteering is when you give back that energy and that happiness really does come back to you. So that idea of paying it forward after all, like, I think that it's, it's not even about like, like getting service hours or just like doing something for the community, which absolutely it is, but it's also a good feeling for yourself. Like when we were doing our impact project, we made bracelets um, for a school whose um, student population was students with disabilities. Okay. Um, we had these amazing, we, I just, oh, the creativity that these girls had, they made their own bracelets as they were running. Um, and we really like, we tried to bring as many kinds of beads as we could. Um, so I think that like, including our own creativity into those projects and um, working on our team bond is really important. And it really helped me um, right now. I do basketball outside of school and I do it in my own league or rec group. Mm -hmm. um, and I really do enjoy it mainly because it's kind of the same energy, but with girls that are my age. So, <laughs> and we're actually like working together to get our goal, which is, win a game, make baskets. Um, and that really is like something that those same aspects that you see on a court are very similar to what you see when we're encouraging each other to run, um, encouraging each other to be confident and be strong um, and powerful. I love that. I love that so much. Number one, y'all's community impact project back in the day, setting the trend before Taylor Swift with the friendship bracelet. So <laughs> absolutely love that. Um, teams that might be watching this right now, feel free to steal that as an idea for your community impact project. Um, and then that team aspect, like I hear so often from parents who I know that their daughters have participated that, hey, she's not doing girls on the run anymore because she's on the basketball team or she's doing volleyball through rec. But those foundational skills of working together and having that intense positivity towards your teammates at all time that she learned at Girls on the Run, she's now getting to apply in the sport that she loves. And I think that, you know, as somebody who's a coach, somebody who works for Girls on the Run, that's our main goal, right? We want these girls to take the skills that they're learning. And like you said, go out, do whatever they want to do, know that they can accomplish a goal, know that they are strong and know that they are powerful. So at that, I absolutely love your insight right there. Thank so, so with all of that in mind, what has you the most excited for this spring 2024 season and the weeks ahead? I can't wait to see all these girls again, um, especially after knowing them. I feel like I got to know them so well and I got to bond with so many of them. I really can't wait to see them again, especially in the spring. It's going to be warmer. <laughs> um it's not gonna be as cold um and I'm really gonna I can't wait to like get back into it um learning more about the curriculum as well I feel like this time I'll definitely have more experience teaching and adapting to those curriculums um kind of helping out uh our head coach as well especially after going through one season as a leader rather than a participant this time Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I'm really ready to get back into it. 
Yeah. And that curriculum, I'm sure you're going to get your eyes on it very, very soon um, and dive into it, but it is a brand new curriculum. So we are shamelessly going to promote it right here and now that every girl participating in Girls on the Run right now this week is setting history. Um, it is a brand new curriculum that was released by Girls on the Run International and uh, hundreds of councils just like Northern Virginia are participating in this curriculum for the very first time. So we are all okay. in history together, which is really exciting. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. Well, Jenna, thank you so much for joining us for our first week of Joyful Journeys for our spring 2024 season. Yeah. And we look forward to everything that is exciting and positive for your season and look forward to seeing you at the 5K finish line. All right. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome.